I suppose I've swallowed it hook, hook, line and sinker really and um, I still have so much to learn. Um, but the, the biggest thing I've learned in the last year is, is to really concentrate on, on working with people hmm. um, within our department and hmm. outside our department um, and, and trying to improve their capability to deliver hmm. and improve their awareness allow them to see where there are problems. And I think that's the key to, to, to getting buy-in hmm. from, from staff. So I think it has a huge role to play. Um, and, and, and also, uh, if you look at collaboration and inter interdisciplinary um, partnerships, um, pharmacists have a massive, I think, unmet demand to uh, provide education when it comes to the prescribing of drugs and the use of drugs. Um, uh, a, a, a large teaching hospital may have 1,500 nurses uh, and then 250, 300 physicians. Many of them are junior doctors that rotate on a three or a six monthly basis. So <clears throat> I believe that our systems at the moment are incapable of delivering um, accuracy, uh, defect-free medicines use uh, based on the transient nature of many of our medical staff. So we need to fundamentally change the processes. Mm. We need to pr ensure that our, our physicians and our nurses are, uh, to borrow Michael's terms, confident and competent to deliver the medicines that patients need. And uh, I think we need to move away from a model of training in a lecture theatre mm. without assuring competence. Uh, so we have an enormous amount to do and I think we need to work much more closely with medical schools and nursing schools to deliver that and, and take the time out to do that no matter how much the pressure to provide that firefighting service continues to put on our ability to deliver. We just have to take that time out to do that.